What is a counter-current exchange system? If you want to use a tube of running cold water to cool down a tube of running hot water, how would you design the flow? And more precisely, what would be the direction of the flow? Will they run parallel, which means in the same direction, or anti-parallel, in the opposite direction? It seems natural to make two streams of liquid flow in the same direction. But the fact is that letting them running in an anti-parallel fashion is much, much more efficient. How is this possible? If you have two streams of liquid going parallel and attempting to achieve heat equalization, here is what happens. At the beginning of the tubes, heat transferred rapidly from the hottest liquid to the coolest liquid. But then the heat gradient gradually becomes so small and the temperature would finalize at their average heat capacity. For example, if two liquids are the same kind and same volume, 100 degrees water and 0 degrees water would finalize at 50 degrees in both liquids. So you got a half transfer of heat. However, if you have two streams of water running in antiparallel, along the whole journey of the tubes, a heat gradient always exists to allow heat transfer which, if a long enough tube is provided, almost all heat energy could be transferred from one tube to another. For example, if two liquids are the same kind and same volume, two streams of water starting at 100 degrees and 0 degrees would have the following fate. As hotter water continuously given off heat and cooler water continuously absorbs heat, both streams of water would have a hotter end and a cooler end, respectively at the same side. Therefore, hotter liquid could always transfer heat down the heat gradient to the cooler tube. Like 100 degrees would meet an 80 degrees here, then 80, 60, 60, 40, 40, 20, 20, 0. When the hotter liquid exits the heat exchange system, much heat has been lost to the cooler liquid that exists at a much higher temperature. Therefore, owing to the fact of the extreme efficiency of counter-current exchange system over concurrent exchange system, common systems that involve heat transfer, like cooling of nuclear water plants, cooling of coolant in an aircon, uses this system or the condenser that condenses distillate in a distillation setup, even biological structure like your very own body. Arteries carry blood from your often hottest central region to cooler peripheral regions. Hence, some veins are designed to run anti-parallel along the arteries to have heat transferred from the arteries so as to preserve the heat. Isn't nature amazing? Now you know why the direction of the flows is so important. In many cases, it doubles the efficiency of concurrent setup.